If you love the movies, then you're going to enjoy a little nostalgic trip back through history on Explore Tulsa. That's right, CB. Our next guest is known throughout Green Country as Ragtime Bill. An accomplished piano player, theater organist, composer. And owner of one of the largest collections of silent movies in Oklahoma. I've always been interested in piano music, the, specifically ragtime. And since I was a kid, I enjoyed playing ragtime uh, from the age of about 15. Uh, and I grew up as a minister's son. The gospel music was kind of in my blood too. So when I was a college student, I dropped out of college to go be the organist with a revival. Then, uh, I became a piano tuner and played that trade for a while. Finally went back to college and got a degree in computer science. And I'm going to devote my retirement to tuning pianos and playing ragtime and accompanying silent movies. My personal collection, I just did a spreadsheet on them. And of course a movie could be anywhere from three minutes to three hours. But I've got about 600 over here. When you're preparing music for a movie, I prefer to do it the old way, which is the way they did it back then. You have in your head everything you need. They send you a cue sheet, which uh, suggests music that could be used for different scenes. It gives a listing of the scenes and says, here's something you could use if you wanted to. But uh, a lot of time you're just flying by the seat of your pants. And that's kind of what I do. Uh, of course. When I go to play a movie, I have seen it several times here in my, uh, in my music room, and I know what's coming up and I'm ready to, to play it. We'll go back to the 1800s when the, they were just starting to make moving pictures. And you could get a crowd excited by simply showing a train coming into a station. They started telling stories in about 1903, the great train robbery was a seminal moment. They told a story and people ate that up and the action got better, the acting got better. By 1912 they were building buildings that would actually show nothing but movies because prior to that time the movies would be maybe the fifth act on a vaudeville show and they had special places built, Nickelodeons. So you come drop your nickel in and go in and watch a movie. And these are small buildings. They were uh, small enough that the accompaniment could be on a piano. And this is where ragtime comes in because the ragtime uh, was the music of the day back in the 19-teens. And movies got more and more involved and they started building movie palaces that would hold thousands of people. Well, the piano would no longer carry it. You couldn't fill a big hall with just a piano. Then they had an orchestra, the vaudeville orchestra, but that was expensive. So they thought, we're going to save some money, and they built a special organ. The theater pipe organ is the only instrument I know of that was ever designed to put musicians out of work. The accompaniment is to accompany. It's never to come out on top. A, an accompanist knows he's done a good job if the audience tells him, you know, I never heard the organ. It is just part of the, of the film experience. And when you've done a good job and nobody's heard you, you've done a good job. Thank you. 